Greetings, family. Happy Love Day. Happy Love Month. It's February, and I'm your sister, Sass, the calligraphy scribe. And I want to share with you some love, my gift of love, calligraphy, the art of beautiful handwriting. I'm going to dedicate this piece called Our Deepest Fear. Some of you may be very familiar with it. President Nelson Mandela uh, recited it during his inauguration and Reverend Mary Ann Williamson has a copyright on it. I have as well noted. But our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It's our light not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing, absolutely nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. Hmm. You see, we were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And I do mean everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. I say our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful, powerful, powerful beyond measure. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful. 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 Beyond measure. Powerful. Yes, you are. Ashe. Our deepest fear, powerful beyond measure. We have it in scroll form, 11 by 17, calligraphy by yours truly, Sats. We have it as a frameable, 8.5 by 11, suitable to fit into a frame. These words can inspire and enrich your mind, body, and spirit as I write them. They inspire me and we put them in print form. Make them into a scroll as well. And you also frame them for your home or office. And this is Calligraphy by yours truly, Sharon Ann Smith. Sass, also known as the High Priestess, Say Shot, the comedic goddess of writing, the wisdom of writing, the laying of the temples in ancient Kemet, and Jehudi's counterpart, Say Shot. 
the high priestess of handwriting, the goddess herself. So what I'm showing you right now, just very quickly, is a technique I created some years ago, which is the art of scroll wrapping, which is a technique where I wrap my kente cloth strips around my half round wood to make the scrolls by which we hang our product sometimes for those who don't want to just frame them as African women creative women we originate these creative ideas our kaumba and this was one of those divine ideas that the Creator gave me to enhance the beauty of my product, the calligraphy scroll. So, yes, the frameable is a, one of the ways that you put your product, of course, in a eight and a half by eleven frame. But I like the uh, the kente cloth coverings and other ones too. My favorite colors are the red, the black, and the green, which are the colors of African liberation, Marcus Garvey, and many other educated us to the red being the blood, the black being our skin, the green being our land, and those colors are incorporated, of course, in the, uh, the kente cloth, and my favorite colors. So very quickly wrapping it up. This is a half round. I get the wood, I cut the wood, I use my little tacky glue and then I take my um, fabric. I'll show you here. We'll use this one for the ancestral script. Okay. And then I, uh, of course, staple. Mm -hmm. Cup on the end. And then, of course, you put my little leather hook on the top. And this is how we get the kente cloth scrolls. Two, two, two. I want to acknowledge that this is calligraphy by sass. Calligraphy, of course, being the art of beautiful handwriting. I've been doing it for a number of years. This one was done in 1985 by myself while I was in Louisville, Kentucky. Inspiration, motivation, education, words that make a difference, that inspire and uplift. That's the nature of my ministry business. My email address is sass, as in Sharon Ann Smith, sass institute at yahoo.com and it's always a blessing to acknowledge the ancestors this is one of my latest creations 2018 2017 uh, at the end of 2017 the oath to the ancestors which is most important O oh, ancestors, blacker than a thousand midnights, African ancestors, it is to you that we, your children, give respect and honor. O oh, ancestors, we call upon you and welcome you in this place. African ancestors, 
Let your presence fill this place. Oh, ancestors who have been purposely excluded from the history books so that the world would not know of your greatness. Our African ancestors who gave civilization to the world. Our African ancestors who gave the arts to the world. Our African ancestors who gave music to the world. Our African ancestors who gave the sciences to the world. Our African ancestors who gave mathematics to the world. Our African ancestors who gave medicine to the world. Our African ancestors who gave literature to the world. Our African ancestors who gave philosophy to the world. Our African ancestors who gave God consciousness to the world. Oh, ancestors, we thank you for devoting your life to make a future for us, your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Now, stand with us. Strengthen us. Guide us. Teach us and protect us from the snare of our enemies. Rise up, O oh African ancestors, and let our enemies be scattered. And give us the wisdom and the boldness to deal with our oppressors and those who would hinder the liberation and empowerment of our people. Rise up, O oh African ancestors, and live in us. Live in me. We will not fail to honor you. We will not fail to respect you. We will not fail to hear you. And we will not. We will not. Betray you. Ashe. 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 Oh. Rise up. Rise up.